testing, testing, audio. What's up, everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my first live. Uh, I mean, I did one as part of a team but never one like this. I hope y'all checked out the video for Grand Hotel. What's up, San Rug? Hello, Guatemala. What's up? Yeah. Yeah, I do need to come to Iceland. That is true. Um, Ola. Anybody seen Elvis or, uh, or Thor? Anybody want to weigh in on what I should go see first? Elvis or Thor? Thor 3D IMAX. I don't know, if, can anyone even hear me? I don't know if no one's gonna tell me if I should see Elvis. What are we, what are we really talking about here? Elvis first, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody asked if uh, a, any advice on um, going to Thor tonight, Elvis is great. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing the Elvis is good. Um, all right, I think Elvis won by a landslide. I can't actually promise that I'm going to go see that before I see Thor, but at least I know that. Um, I have breakfast, yeah, most days. Dude, Elvis fucking smashed it. Oh yeah, I heard Black Phone is good. I wanna see that. Any questions about the video? Any, any questions about Grand Hotel? Comic collectors hated Elvis. What is my favorite song like by, off of the other side of Make Believe or like in life? Uh, Grand Hotel we recorded in London at uh, a, a Battery Studios with Flood and Alan Mulder. Um, the audio, like where we recorded the whole record, and the video we shot in Belgium. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do any more videos. I know Sam had an idea for a video, but I'm not sure if we're gonna, you know, go big or go iPhone. Um, in terms of what we shoot it with. Um, I don't know anything about the Minions thing. My favorite song from The Other Side of Make Believe, uh, I don't have one yet. Um, I genuinely kind of like, there's high points in a lot of different songs that are my favorite things, but overall not one song. Well, I mean, into the night, maybe, if I if I had to pick a fave fave. But I guess you have only heard that live. Uh, I'm sure Grand Hotel will be on YouTube pronto. Uh, uh -huh. Come to Korea, check. Fave new bands, um, I mean, I'm kind of new to Krong Bin. I'm digging them. Uh, what new song are you looking forward to performing live? Grand Hotel is a blast to play live. Into the Night is a blast to play live. I would like to play Greenwich. 
which you'll have to wait and hear that one. Hope back to Mexico, okay, El Paso, Texas. Ba Banks, yeah, that's my name. Do you like pineapple? Yeah, I feel like growing my hair like I had it 20 years ago, I did like three years ago. I actually um, think I might be heading that way right now. Hello, Yakov, 7U7. Come to Costa Rica, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I am Starlight. My favorite chocolate is uh, milk chocolate. Any more solo projects? Yep, uh, yep. Tony, no, no relationship. That was uh, one of Daniel's uh, working titles that we stuck with in the end. Uh, when we play on Saturday at Hackney Church, it will be um, a variety of music from the new songs to old songs. Thank you about the haircut. There's the whole story behind the haircut. It, it started off going south real fast um, and I actually walked out of the haircut and halfway through and went and found someone else who then saved the day and made the best of what had started happening, the first haircut. Um, we are trying to work here. <laughs> yeah, I quit smoking. Yep, yeah, LA will come back for sure. One of my favorite films, I feel like I've covered that many times, but uh, one of them is Performance by Nicholas Roeg. And Miller's Crossing by the Coen Brothers is historically what I refer to as my favorite tied for first place movies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a coffee guy, never tea. Pay me the university, please. Copy that. Why don't you go on the AC3 po podcast? Did you catch the audio reference? Uh, I would love to. I don't know if I'm on Ethan's radar. Favorite breakfast? I think we've covered that one, but lately it's huevos rancheros, which I make a mean version of actually myself. Uh, ¿Qué quieres que diga en español? Crossing is a maybe movie. True. Cosmel, it's hard to explain why the reference to Cosmel in that song. Um, that song came about super fast and was like um, snippets of a dream for me. And Cosmel just was an instant lyric the first day I started writing for that one. Cuando viene a Guadalajara. Muy pronto. No, I didn't eat huevos rancheros today. Did you snort coke ever? What kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, I would want to act in a film. Yeah. No, I do not be listening to Madonna lately. Uh, favorite Interpol song this moment? I don't really have one, but I like a lot of them. I mean, I like a lot of them in particular, I mean. Tus fotos de edificios son las más chidas. Thank you very much. I don't know when we're going to come back to Dallas, but we'll come back for sure. I feel like you know, we've only 
barely begun touring for this record, so I think you know anywhere that you are, we will likely be heading there. Don't uh, don't be discouraged if there's no dates announced yet. Are you involved in the mixing editing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, well, truth be told, when uh, when Alan Mulder mixes a record for Interpol. Um, we generally stay out of there for the first 24 hours until he calls us in uh, and has something he's ready to play us. I think we learned early on um, to like let him do his thing, uh, and then when you know we hear what he wants to have, you know where he's comfortable with it, then we give him some notes if there are any notes, and there were very very few notes on this record uh, and on El Pintor that he also mixed because he's just you know a super talent. And uh, I don't think we presume to... Well, no, it's just that he gets us, so he mixes us up very well. Somebody asked something about like how we get emotion in our music, and I think that's a great question, and I think that music is emotion, and that's how music is sincere and authentic, is if you are actually expressing something that is a true feeling in you. And I think Daniel, 100%, is like one of the most expressive guitarists um, and writes incredible chord progressions that I think are unbelievably emotional and I think very therapeutic for him and I think Sam is a very emotional writer and I think uh, yeah I definitely definitely use emotion in the vocal performances so that's a good question and I would say just you know music is a way to help you with your emotions so if you have emotions then I think you can use music and put that emotion into music do me a favor and break my nose copy that Uh, 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 uh. ¿Cuál es la parte que más te gusta de grabar un álbum nuevo? Um, I enjoy um, the writing process, I think, most. Uh, reading right now Crossroads by Franzen. I don't really know Bad Bunny music. What was your process for writing Grand Hotel? That was a song that we didn't even know, you know, the song that Ostensibly, we're here talking about the new videos out. Check it out on our Facebook. Um, Grand Hotel was a song that wasn't even going to go on the record when we got to the studio. It wasn't finished being written, uh, and I um, personally really loved it. Um, but it was actually the bass line and the vocal that was not finished when we got to the studio. But I always felt like I was going to get it done, and we basically like I went and recorded the bass line. Um, by myself at the studio one night and the engineer kind of didn't like the bass line and basically was like, do you have anything else, basically? And uh, and then I spontaneously wrote the bass line that's on the, on the choruses now. The verses were stayed the same as what I had originally, but the choruses I rewrote and the outro was all actually like spontaneously written that one evening in like 45 minutes. Also my guitar, the whole outro guitar and bass was written like in 45 minutes. Yeah, would I recommend Crossroads? Yeah, I find Franzen to be an uncanny um, describer of human psychology and emotions. Like, it's like scary how in touch he is with with the inner workings of the human psyche. It's some like some Dostoevsky shit. I don't ever hear from Carlos D. Uh, you are an incredible artist. You inspire many persons. Da -da. Bring back song seven to your live sets, please. Yeah, that, that's that's actually maybe I'm ready. Do you like working with Mel Malia James on the video? Yes, she was um, incredible. She's an incredible talent. I loved uh, the idea that she had and the treatment that she had for the video. Uh, obviously, very powerful theme with uh, an overdose happening. Um, and I think, yeah, I think it's a very strong emotional video and it's incredibly well acted. I think she has a great cast and uh, I love the atmosphere. She's a big talent. But I'm, no, I can't say it and it scrolled past. What's up, Poland? Style-wise, what's your favorite brands? I don't know. Um, thank you for the photography, love. Do you like frogs? Yeah, yeah, I'm down. Um, song 7 with Daniel singing. Yeah, agreed. That's, that's a good reason. 
to bring that one back. We need more Daniel on the mic. Uh, yeah, I love Radiohead. Daniel, Instagram Live next. Okay. Didn't you do acting yourself? I mean, I was lip syncing lyrics in reverse for the video, which was a bitch, uh, like not easy to do. Um, I wouldn't call it acting. Um, and I think the, um, the actual actors really, you know, brought some heavy, heavy skills. Modela con una vuelta. No. No, I don't meditate, but I'm going to start. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan of the national. They're also cool dudes. The concept process for the band's videos, it's like, uh, um, recently, you know, we work with a talented director who has an idea and they submit an idea and then we kind of discuss whether or not we think that's a good idea and if it's executable and, um, yeah, so, so far Van Alpert and Malia James have made some of, I think, our best videos ever. So pretty excited about that. Um, all right, what are, we, what are we talking about? I think I got a little bit of time left. Do I wanna go for some tequila? No, thank you. Do you know who is Muse? Yeah, I know who Muse is. Um, Sam is doing well. The current camera I use is my iPhone and one of the three lenses is broken so I can't do any zoom. Not that I would do any zoom for the photography but I use an iPhone and I need to get a new one. We are indeed so Morbin right now. I think the inspiration for the new album is, you know, Basically, the state of the world over the last few years, I think, is the main big inspiration. Interpol and the Strokes should link together. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Do you like Sigurros? Yes, I do. I have the iPhone, I think the most recent one, but not the biggest one. Um, as far as the new album, I think it's an amazing record. I'm really proud of this record, and I think... Um, Flood brought out some great performances. I think we are sounding different than we have on our past records and I feel like it just seems like a fresh group of songs. And I think there's like a, there's some uh, joie de vivre in this one that I think will hopefully translate. And I hope you crank Grand Hotel very loudly in your cars or on your headphones. Uh, I recommend doing that because the outro gets pretty melty. All right, check out the video. Grand Hotel, Malia James, mega talent. Thank you so much. Adios.